Greetings. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rahman Mohammed. I am the executive producer of MCTV. I would like to thank our viewing audience for tuning in. And I also would like to thank our guest here, Brother Imam Akbar Mohammed, who is the resident Imam here at Masjid Ali K Muslim, located at 257 South Orange Avenue. Brother Imam, I'd like to thank you for appearing on our show. Thank you. And what we attempt to do today, by the grace of God, is to try to talk about leadership. And in my humble opinion, when, it's, when we speak in terms of leadership, leadership for years have came from out of this particular area, this particular masjid. You go all the way back into maybe the 40s, the 50s, the 60s. Right. From their standpoint here at Masjid Ali K Muslim, leadership has been born. Right now, by the grace of Allah Ta'ala, we, we're here today with our guest, who also is the Imam here, and he also will talk to us today and expound on us his interpretation on what leadership is, and as the leader of this community, where he tends or direct from the, uh, in this present future, the direction he will take the members of this community in terms of leadership. So, Brother Imam Akbar, I'd like to ask you to maybe perhaps expound to the view viewing audience what is your opinion of leadership and in terms of what is your vision and what direction that you choose by the grace of God to take your community to and as their leader, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim I would like to say uh, thank you to uh, Rahman and uh, MC uh, Television for this interview and to say that uh, that's a very, very good topic and mm -hmm. it's a very, very good situation to uh, talk about. And um, he was just saying about the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. Now it's 2012 and um, leadership did come out of this masjid. Uh, when we first started out, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, that was, that was in 1930. Yes. And mm -hmm. in 1930, um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they were called, uh, the leadership was called ministers. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then when Honorable Elijah Muhammad passed, then the imam, the imam Wathidi Muhammad, mm -hmm. uh, may Allah be pleased with him, he came in and may Allah be pleased with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And when the sun came in, that's when things started to uh, transform and it transformed into uh, pure Islam and we went into uh, the Sunnah, uh, the way of uh, the example of Muhammad the Prophet, the prayers of oh, peace Lord. and the blessings be upon him. Right. And um, even during uh, the 50s, the 30s, the 40s, and the 60s, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he was very uh, instrumental in bringing Islam to the shores of North America. Mm -hmm. And we were uh, in our embryo stage. We was mm -hmm. in our baby stages and we was yes. really like just being prepared for this right. great uh, movement mm -hmm. and great development of Islam pure uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the Sunnah of Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the prayer, the peace and the blessing be upon him. Mm -hmm. And um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was a reformer. Mm -hmm. He reformed us mm -hmm. and he prepared us for this right. day. Okay. He even said, the one that come behind me, he might not use none of right. what I brought in. Okay. And that's what the Imam, Wazidin mm -hmm. Muhammad, he transformed us and he helped us to conform into uh, Islam and the Sunnah of Muhammad, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And now we're uh, really on the right track. And back then in the um, early uh, 1900s, we were people that were just coming out of slavery. Mm -hmm. And we were just uh, people that was looking for identity, right. looking okay. for a better way. Right. We were looking for hope, and we right. wanted to see ourselves really grow, and we wanted us to be delivered from uh, certain individuals' hands of oppression. Mm. And okay. when the imam came in, he went and he reformed us and put us on the right track. And now leadership is about uh, helping each other and uh, mm -hmm. seeing how we can follow the description okay. of what came before us. Gotcha. So okay. whatever come before us, then mm -hmm. now we just see how can right. that make the progress. Mm, okay. So that's an excellent okay. Um, okay. question to ask. Good. So yes. once again, 
or it's just exactly what we said when we first opened up in terms of leadership. Right. It gives the community a direction. Right. But what you're saying is that Imam Wafdi Muhammad came and his leadership guided us towards the direction of the Quran and the Sunnah. Right. Okay. You know, one of the things that I remember Imam Wafdi Muhammad talking, saying one time, which always stuck to me, maybe you can expound on on the, the explanation on what you think he meant. And I think it has something to do with leadership in the field of maybe progress, right. and maybe in the field of business. Right. He said that we must go from dust to industry. Right. Okay. Can you maybe just uh, expound on that, on what you think he meant by that in terms of from dust to industry? Well, to say that what the man was talking about mm -hmm. when he said from dust to industry, Dust mm -hmm. is like okay. particles. Right, okay. And it's unformed. Mm. Okay. So the scenario in that was mm -hmm. Adam, Cain, and Abel. Mm. Okay. And Adam, we are the children of Adam and Howard, mm. okay. Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cain and Abel represented the children. Okay. And they represented industry. Mm -hmm. And from dust, it was nothing. Right. Because dust is nothing. Right. Okay. And uh, when it first started out, it started out mm -hmm. when Allah created mm -hmm. Adam and Hawa. Okay. That was from nothing. SubhanAllah. The... Yes. Yes. Okay. And to say that's how it started. Right. So. Imam Wasidi Muhammad, he said that mm -hmm. we start from dust, right. which is nothing, and right. then we create industries, right. and that was uh, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel, <coughs> pardon me, Cain and Abel, they represented industries. Okay. Uh, they represented um, how to be productive in this society right. with iron, steel, and coal, mm -hmm. and copper. Right. And they took that and okay. they brought about industries. Right. You know, yes. and I, I can see the similarity in that mm -hmm. in terms of the growth that this community has made. Yes. In terms of going from a, a, a dust to an industry. Right. By even being in this building. That's right. Okay, you can see yes. the growth, yes. you know, from, from the longevity. Yes. Okay, under leadership. Right. So now we're right back to leadership. So now you, you're, you're the ma'am here and this new development here. Yes. Okay. Weird, I mean, like now you, you can actually say, well, okay, fine, we didn't went from dust, right. okay, now we didn't became to this part where now we ha yeah. we're here. Excellent. So from this point on now, in this new building, and this new mind, and this new direction, where do you plan to take the community from this point, That's from good, 2012? That's an excellent question right. because when we was in the building next door, the building next door mm -hmm. was a movie theater. Mm, dust. That's right. <laughs> and right. we uh, got together. Mm -hmm. Now, it was uh, Imam Ali, mm -hmm. and we named the masjid. We made, named the masjid next door mm -hmm. after Imam Ali Muslim, and uh -huh. he had passed, and we came uh -huh. into leadership. Mm -hmm. And just to say, you know, that um, mm -hmm. I met Imam Ali mm -hmm. in uh, the institution of Carwell Correctional mm -hmm. Facility, mm -hmm. and I graduated from there okay. with honors. Allahu Akbar. Yes. Allahu Akbar. Right. And I met him in right. 1975. Okay. And to say that we were in a situation where, as in, when we was incarcerated, mm -hmm. we were uh, very productive, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. awarding there, mm -hmm. he awarded us mm -hmm. with. Uh, uh, a position mm -hmm. on that imp uh, on that institution. Mm -hmm. They gave us a position there, and they gave us the position of mm -hmm. uh, an inmate officer. Mm -hmm. So if we develop uh, industry mm -hmm. and um, being productive inside that institution, mm -hmm. then when we, then when we uh, mm -hmm. when we got out, we came out. That's when Imam Hussein was uh, the uh, the Imam. Okay. And then when Imam Hussein passed, Imam Ali came in the office. Mm -hmm. And then when Imam Ali passed, we came in the office. But okay. uh, Imam Warthadi Muhammad, he said that when he mm -hmm. first came in the office, he said we should get rid of the old and bring in the new. new. Okay. From, like you said, from dust right. to industry. Right. So that's what we started working on. Now, the mm -hmm. building that was across the street and the building that mm -hmm. was here and the one next mm -hmm. door right here, mm -hmm. during, during those times, during mm -hmm. 
like the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and the 70s, we had all of this. The whole right. South Orange Avenue was right. belonged to the Muslims. So that's what we're trying to do now. We're trying okay. to establish ourselves just like we established right. ourselves from the first in the first experience. And okay. to say that uh -huh. um, when, when Imam Wazidi Muhammad came in, uh -huh. he said to tear down the old buildings, and that's what Imam Ali Muslim did. He tore uh -huh. down the old buildings. And then when he passed, he passed the baton to me. Right. And then we... He, he, he was in the process of establishing a new mass jail built from the ground up, built on Takawatu. Yes. So, I mean, I mean, you know, I got to compliment you because you, you right. asking me some real good yeah. questions Allah. and I like it. Allah Akbar. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, we, you know we, we could go back in terms of the construction of the building, right. which is good. But just for, for, for the sake of our souls, yes, sir. you know, like, what, what did you feel? You know, in other words, when, when this was this opportunity came to you, yes. okay, being in this leadership position, yes. being perhaps the forerunner in yes. terms of helping it to steer the direction yes. from, a, from a spiritual part, yes. from, you know, from the part that touches your soul. Yes. I mean, like, what, what came through your mind at nighttime when you laid in bed and says, you know, by the grace of Allah, yes. okay, you know, we then came from one stage and to another state, because this is a big thing. This is a big, yes. spiritually, yes. it's a great reward. Yes. So how do you feel inside in terms of the reward or the efforts that went into it, and what did it do to your soul in terms of establishing a masjid here in Newark, New Jersey, and the leader of that masjid, I'm sorry. When we, when we, when we, when we, was, uh, when we were coming up mm -hmm. as young, young boys, and my parents always taught me to be uh, good, clean, and upright, mm. good, moral, good moral principles. Mm -hmm. And my mother and my father, they instilled it into me um, how to behave and how to behave properly. Mm -hmm. And I, I, what happened was I got off the wrong track and I got with some bad boys. Mm. Mm -hmm. Some bad fellas. Yeah. But what was planted into me was right. planted from my mother and my father, and that carried me because mm -hmm. we was Christians coming up. Right. And, you know, Christians, um, they have the right spirit. Mm -hmm. So my parents, they would take me to church and everything, and I would right. see the preacher, you know, and I had preachers in my family. Right. Okay. So I would see them, and I see them, you know, performing on the pulpit, and I see them, mm -hmm. you know, talking and everything. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was a good example. And right. then when, the, when the, I was watching the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and I was watching, mm -hmm. you know, I was, I was just, you know, because in the church, they would tell you about Esau. They tell you about uh, mm -hmm. Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would sell him, I would pray as a piece of blessing be upon uh, our mm -hmm. prophet Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, just certain things started, you know, working in my mind, and I started questioning certain things. Right. So, but the spirit was still there. Right. So we would always get together with each other, and we would talk about certain mm -hmm. things. And little did we know, you know, we was going to wind up here. Mm -hmm. And then once we came into the nation of Islam, mm -hmm. then that right there set it off to the point where mm -hmm. we was growing. And we, because mm -hmm. in the nation of Islam, they was excelling. Mm -hmm. So the, we, 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 mm -hmm. we really, really looked at that. Mm -hmm. And that was a good example for mm -hmm. our people because mm -hmm. of how we had came out of certain conditions and right. oppression and, you know, uh, being um, denied. Right. And into, uh, we went into certain situations where we mm -hmm. couldn't just you know, uh, mm -hmm. be like the way other folks would be. Okay. So okay. we came into a certain situation, mm -hmm. and our situation was really promoted then. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So the spirit was always there. Okay. And then when we came into the nation of Islam, right. then the general orders and right. lessons, C1, C2, right. and C3 and everything. Right. But when the imam came, when the imam Wazidi Muhammad came mm -hmm. in, he introduced us to the Quran and the son of Muhammad okay. the prophet. Allah. So that's when that spirit really... Uh, okay. Go ahead. When we started reading, because yeah, you know yeah. we used to take the Quran and put right. it on the highest shelf. We right. didn't read it. We didn't right. read the right. Quran then. Right. But when the Imam came in, right. he took it off the highest shelf and he right. put it in the highest shelf in yeah. your head. Right there you go. And then we started excelling there. Right. But okay. we always had the spirit. Okay. The spirit was always there. Okay. And Imam W. D. Muhammad he said that one thing about us, we were always spiritual people and we always had the spirit mm -hmm. coming out of our lineage. And our heritage from the past. Okay. Yeah, good, that was a good, good question. And you know, you have some youth here in the audience. Yes. What can they expect from you under your leadership? Beautiful. Yeah, okay, in terms Beautiful. of the direction yeah. that you want to make, set this path to go. Yeah, I, I, my son is in here. Mm -hmm. And um, I, 
boy. Matter of fact, you, he won the Hodge. When I watched your son, yeah. I told you the other day, I remember you bringing yeah, him that's into right. the master. That's right. That's he, right. He, he fall asleep that's sometime. Right. That's right. Sometimes you wake him that's back right. up and tell him to read the can. Yes. But see, but look yes. at the efforts that's right. that they came. That's you right. Know? So yes. that's a humble to that. So what, what would you tell the youth? They, okay, what they can expect, you know, what the children can expect for under your leadership in terms of you being the leader in this in this beautiful building here. And just to say, just to say that if you follow leadership right, mm -hmm. then uh, you will inherit leadership. Because Allah says in the Quran, mm -hmm. highly glorified is He. He said, everybody get a turn. And then I want to say this here too that right. my son he's going to Hajj. Allah, Akbar. yes, Allah, Akbar. Allah, Allah, you know. And then that's that's, that's following leadership because right. the prophet, uh, the prayers of peace and the blessing be upon him, he said that we have and we have five principles in Islam, mm -hmm. and one of them is Hajj. Mm -hmm. So if we fulfill all the uh, f uh, fulfillments of the uh, principles mm -hmm. of Islam, mm -hmm. that's paradise for us. Okay. And then the other half. The one half is the principles and the other half is marriage. Okay, now what, what yeah. would you say to the seniors of your community in terms of what can they expect from you in terms of leadership? Well, I'm following their leadership right. and then what we have is called Mishra Bainahu. Love it. And right. we all come together and then we right. uh, bring out the best. Right. Now, even with my brother uh, Wadud. Right. Edward Wadud. Osma, Osma. Osma. Yeah, Edward right. Wadud, right. Osma, Wali, mm. Wali yeah, Sultan, mm -hmm. Kareem. All of them, my, my parents, right. you, right. All, of, all, of, all, of, all of the ones, um, especially with the pioneers, mm -hmm. they advising me, oh, and Lord sometimes Lord. they get mad with me, and I get <laughs> mad with them, and this is an infrastructure type fight. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> but, we are, but we all family, yes. yeah. and, and, and they like it, and, and yeah. Edward Y. Dude, he tells me that right. I am the one. Yeah, there you go. And if he tell you you're the one, boy, yeah, you, that's you, right. you're all right. That's you, right. You're okay. They, but, they, so, but, you know, but one thing about resistance, man, sometimes yeah. it's good because from right. resistance right. builds strength. Yes, sir. If you got a lot of people around you yes, and, they're like, and they're not like Edward Wadu, right. that's going to challenge you. That's right. You get weak. That's right. So you need that resistance. So, he, that, so that's a humble. Yeah, that, he's that, like yeah. my abu. He's my right. daddy. <laughs> 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 that, that, that's good, sir. Home to you. Yeah, Allah Akbar. Yes. Politically. Yes, sir. Politically. You know, for years, you know, the Muslims was like somewhat stuck in terms of about what Beautiful. direction they wanted to go Beautiful. politically. Beautiful. You know, some were saying that we should, some were saying we should yeah. not. You know, I mean, um, what's your, your, what, what's your, your, uh, your view on terms of the direction that you think that the Muslims, you know, should go politically? It's an excellent question mm -hmm. because... We was talking about that yesterday, mm -hmm. and we'd be talking about that a lot. Right. As, as you know, and when we was coming up um, during the time of Nation of Islam, mm -hmm. we were told, you know, to really like just stay in our own community right. and don't embrace no candidate or anything like right. that. Right. So we didn't do that. Right. But okay. now, when Imam Wazid Muhammad came in, he said, "Get in the mainstream of the system." Mm -hmm. So that opened it up, and we have to be. Mm -hmm. uh, Vigilant to the point where mm -hmm. we want to see how we can reap the benefits, like okay. you said, from the, the, the right. industry is right. established and we right. helped establish it. Oh, so we okay. should get our share. Right. That's, that's, that's what I'm in agreement okay. with. We should, we should promote each other right. and we should prom promote each other to the point where right. we can see our right. uh, situation coming to focus. Right. Yes. Do, you, do you think as a community, not, not just here, but in terms of throughout, yes. let's say the surrounding areas, you know, yes. do you think that we should take more of a lead in trying to solve the social ills of society in terms of like in terms like of, of say, substance abuse, you know, you know, in terms of uh, marriage, you know, divorce, yes. you know, all those social ills yes. that mainstream society is afflicted with. We also get afflicted with those same things. Oh, know? yeah. In our community, we got people that are being afflicted with terminal diseases and right. sicknesses, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what, what, in terms of leadership, what do you think is the solution, you know, for the youth, you know, like in terms of, because we're losing them. Right. We're losing them to the streets. We're losing them. They're in the jailhouses, you know. Or, you know, they're losing their lives. Mm -hmm. And they're getting themselves caught up in terms of either drug dealing or drug using. Right. I think that if the Prophet Muhammad, a.s. not think, but I know,
because Allah says that he was the best example for mankind. Right. So by him being the best example for mankind and Allah also saying that we are the caliphs of the earth, right. it appears to me that maybe we should be taking more of a lead. Yes. Because if you look back around, you know, democracy ain't working, uh, Republicans is not working, all these right. different ideologies is not right. working. So it seems as though that Allah is trying to let us know that we got to step out. That's right. Leadership. Right. Like yourself had to step right. out. So what, how, we, how are we going to work that? Because, you know, a lot going to, we're going to be all be accountable for what we're doing right. on this earth. You know, maybe we're not doing enough. Right. You know? And that's it. Well, now, it, with leadership, we have to be able to help the people mm -hmm. establish the independency. Okay. I'm a business, I'm a business man. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. my situation is for us to establish more businesses, if we did it, Years ago, yeah, do yeah. something for ourselves. Right. That was the thing. Wow. Do something for ourselves and to help each other. Mm -hmm. See, we was taught the civilized human being should teach the uncivilized human being. There you go. So if, we, if, if I got a right. job, then I should share my job with another individual mm -hmm. and help that individual show mm -hmm. him how to do it. So leadership okay. is everything. There you go. That's okay. number one. Okay. Yes. Good, yes. good. That, that, so that, we got to simplify more of that. Got to simplify more yeah. of that. That, that, is, yes, that is a very good answer, you know. Yes, indeed. You know, we look, we look around today and, we, and um, we see, like going back to what I, I think I mentioned this earlier, you know, Allah gives us all signs, right. you know. And I said in the beginning that to me that here on South Orange Avenue, leadership has always came from here. Right. Always came from here. And you mentioned some names of individuals that helped set that path. Yes. Okay. In terms of the Amri Laj Muhammad, in terms of Imam Warf Deen Muhammad, in terms of Imam Ali K. Muslim, and Brother Imam Hussein, right. and now yourself. Yes. So I just would like to commend you Thank and you. commend this community from Thank following you. that leadership Thank you. and being able to step forward out, okay? And so we, perhaps, some of the Muslims, not some of the Muslims, but inshallah ta'ala, if the Muslims wake up and see that, Allah gave us this sign. Right. Because, you know, we know that Arab is not superior than a non-Arab or a black right. is no more superior than a white. Right. But in reality, I might get in trouble for what I'm about to say, but in reality, the truth states that which, under your leadership and the, and, the, and, and the members of this community, coming from an indigenous standpoint, it's a giant step. I'm right. talking about for African Americans, okay, to step forward. Because people they have not looked for us to make that step. Beautiful. You know? That's right. You know, every ethnic group, and we thank a lot for all that. We thank a lot yeah, for, the, I mean, for the Turkeys, Turkish people who do I mean, it, the Arabs that do it. I mean, but we thank a lot in abundance right. that he came to South Juan Javno right. and allowed this group, right. okay, to establish a house of Allah That's right. that he said is going to, that if we do this, it'll be right. established for one in paradise That's for right. us. That's right. And may Allah grant that to you and everybody that was involved. Yeah. So we got like five minutes to go, buddy, yeah. ma'am. Yes, I'd like for you maybe perhaps to tell the viewing audience, you know, what you feel, okay, is that it, in the direction that you want to take the leadership in, and what message would you send to other leaders yes. in the surrounding areas? What I would like to say, and it is a beautiful question, because in actuality, um, what we want to do is we want to come together mm -hmm. with the communities. Okay. Allah says in the Quran, Ummat and Wahid, this community is one. Allah. I want to see all of us come together, Allah. help each other, and help each other to grow. We talked about Ibrahim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, mm -hmm. how Ibrahim was, Prophet Ibrahim was a model, mm -hmm. and he prayed for believing offsprings. Allah. And we Allah. are the offsprings of Ibrahim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the prayer of mm -hmm. peace and blessings be upon him, we're the offsprings, and we're the model. And he was a Hus Uswa Hassan. Mm -hmm. He was a model. And mm -hmm. we want to be a model to everybody. And we want to get together with everybody and have everybody oh, join together and work together. Sounds good. Yes. Sounds beautiful. Like that, beautiful. That's beautiful because yes, you, you're coming from the example right. of the prophet. So, yes, so and you can't come, you can't, you can't find <laughs> no better example than that. When a man gives you an analogy from the prophet, you just have to just take Thank that. You, Thank you, you. have to listen to that. Yes, and I, I believe that's probably one of the reasons why you're one of the leaders here Thank you. in, in, in this here Thank community. You. So I don't know how much time do we have left. Okay, I'd just like to say that we would like to uh, thank Imam Akbar. Thank you. Also would like to thank the community for allowing us to come to this masjid. 
And also, we want you to continue to tune in every Thursday night because this, it doesn't stop right here. Okay, you, it's part two is coming next. No way. So we're going to ask all the viewing audience to continue to watch and to stay tuned. And we'd like to thank everybody for, for coming. And we'd like to thank everybody for watching. And most important, I'd like to thank Imam Akbar. Thank you. And we'd like to, we'd like to give him all our prayers and our du'as. Amen. That Allah Ta'ala make him strong, Amen. keep him on his deen, Amen. keep him on the right path, Amen. and keep him in leadership. Amen. Thank you very much, thank you. Imam Akbar. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Wa salam. Greetings. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rahman Mohammed. I'm an executive producer of MCTV. We'd like to thank all our viewing audience for tuning in. And this is part two of a continuation of series that is going on here at Masjid Ali K. Muslim, located at 257 South Orange Avenue. We're going to go straight to the topic and the point. Uh, it's a, this, for me, uh, sitting in on this particular interview is a great reward and a great feeling for me because we're sitting amongst people who are members here, we have the imam here, people who have decided to take the initiative and the step to fulfill our obligation that was commanded by God, which was to build a masjid here on this earth. And we need to be able to recognize the leadership here, and their efforts in terms of trying to establish a house of Allah here on this earth. So Allah can establish one for, for the members and the efforts that were made here by these individuals in, in the next life. So we're going to go straight. What we want to try to do is just give you a small brief history on how this came about. And we're going to start with, to my left, with Brother Imam, um, Imam Akbar Muhammad. And then we're going to talk to some of the other members here that are sitting at this table in terms of the steps that were, take, that were taken from uh, establishing this master from the construction standpoint of it, from the effort standpoint of it, and what it means to everyone that's sitting here and the members of this community. So I'm going to start with Brother Imam Akbar, and he can just give us a brief uh, scenario of what actually take place, what took place. Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure. And I would like to thank uh, Rahman and uh, MC uh, TV for uh, interviewing us in uh, this uh, precious uh, moment. And to say that this is history in the makings. And it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure for him to come and interview us and to uh, be of assistance. And I'd like to say praise be to our Allah that I got some real serious people around me, and they are uh, killers. <laughs> and to say that to establish uh, the new masjid and to come out of the old masjid, to come out the old building, which was uh, officially uh, um, a movie theater, and to come up out of that building and to build a <coughs> brand new masjid and have a brand new school and a daycare center. And it was the efforts of leadership and um, the believers, the pioneers. And uh, we have some people here that have 40 years, 50 years, 60 years of experience. And I'm like the younger youth coming behind them. And to say that they um, really were inspirational <coughs> towards my growth and development and to help me see how we could really pull it off and they helped we all it was like a team effort and um, to say that everyone had an input everyone really like put their efforts the, uh, their monies uh, their properties they put the uh, people involved in it their family members got involved with it and even they raised the dead. So it was a beautiful uh, situation to be a part of this situation and to be uh, in leadership and to, uh, they put me in leadership and they told me that I better not act up and 
be a bad person or they would do something that was really bad. Okay, I just I just want I just want to just just put this it, just say this what when the imam said killers he didn't literally mean killers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what he mean was that we gonna kill anything that's gonna stop the growth of us spreading this dawah or spreading this this message in Islam. So these individuals here that you see sitting at this table, we ain't gonna let, let nothing live that's gonna stop the word of the Prophet Muhammad A.S. Right. the Islam or Allah Ta'ala. So now we're gonna go to Brother uh, Edward Adu, Wadu, who has been here. I'm gonna let Brother Edward Wadu tell you about a brief, his, his experience here at 257 South Wadu. Well, I came in after Wale Muslim, but Mm -hmm. What had happened in our life back in the 50s, and Osman said he was 15, he was 14, really. He was a young man. <laughs> but the thing of it is, is that what had happened, we had a, brothers. Mm -hmm. Wasn't no masjid, wasn't no imam, wasn't no minister, wasn't nothing. A bunch of brothers got together, mm -hmm. and if you said they was killers, yes, they were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they started out to kill all of this negativeness about the so-called Negro. There you go. Mm -hmm. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad came in here in 58 down on Elizabeth Avenue. Mm. And everybody know about the number 25. Well, that was the, that was the messenger's number. Mm -hmm. He gave us that number. Mm -hmm. and, and Father, as you see, we came from the back of a storefront, mm -hmm. bedrooms, mm and things to what you see now, which became 25, which was the thing. Now, if you want somebody to tell you more, Wali Muslim. Okay, we're gonna ask our brother Wali Muslim to tell us a little bit about 257 South Orange Avenue and the efforts that went there. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu alaykum. illallah. as Muhammadan Rasulillah. That, is really what started us all off. Bearing witness, no God but Allah. We have had, we've had a great history here on South Orange Avenue. This area, this, this uh, particular part of South Orange Avenue is really not our beginning. Our beginning on this part of South Orange Avenue is 142 South, South Orange Jay. Avenue, mm -hmm. where we had what we call the council hall. Mm -hmm. That was our beginning. And that beginning came out of a group of young brothers that wanted to uh, bear witness what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was teaching. It may not have been what we consider today and know today, not just consider, know to be the Sunnah path, but it was a path to what we have now in the world. I don't think that we can ever forget that beginning because we had this dream of building a house back then. And it wasn't until Allah saw fit that this house would be built. And it wasn't built by us as individuals. It was built by this community. The spirit that was in this community is the same spirit. I think Rahman asked the imam a question earlier in his interview. Uh, can you explain to me what the Imam W.D. Muhammad meant when he said from dust to industry. Well, our beginning was dust. Strictly we dust. were nothing no. to speak of. But the industry came about. Work, a lot of work took place in this community. This brother here, Rahman, He's the results of that hard work. The Imam is the results of that hard work. And I thank Allah, I thank Allah, I thank Allah. Brother Amin and Brother Abdullah, 
are the results of that hard work. That's right. This was a community effort. Uh -huh. The whole city of Newark takes pride in what has taken place here. But we can't stop here. Okay. It's not meant that we are just brick and mortar. We got to build a community. Uh -huh. I'd like to conclude with that. That was beautiful. And then we're going to go to uh, our brother here, brother Osman Sharif. He's going to share with you his views, his concepts in terms of our growth here in this community. But I, I just want to go one quick question back to Brother Wally. What year was that at 142 South Orange Ave? 1956. So follow me. Allah What's the matter? You wasn't born. I was born, but I was a little one, though. I was born, though. <laughs> Good brother, I was born. Yeah. Yeah. As there as you go. <laughs> As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum salam. I shall do Allah illa haa illa Allah, Muhammad al That's what brought us to this point. Mm -hmm. How I see it, you know, praise be to Allah, is from the time of uh, 1954 and 55 from Hillside Place, Mutawasim uh, Ali Muhammad Rodney, Rodney Cruz mm -hmm. taught us in the street, was teaching us in the street. Then we moved to 55, the, the first uh, official meeting we went to was at 188 Belmont Avenue, and that's where Malcolm was teaching at. Mm -hmm. But from that point, from that point to this point, we have had some tremendous leaders, mm -hmm. from Millicent James, mm -hmm. Junior, Junior, uh, Hussein, Imam Hussein, Imam Ali Muslim, my man, mm -hmm. and now my man, uh, uh, Imam Akbar. Mm -hmm. That leadership, that leadership has brought us to this, this, this right here. Mm -hmm. That leadership has brought, has brought us together. I mean, Muhammad, Abdullah. These brothers built, we all together built, but these brothers are architects. You understand? These, these the brothers like they built the pyramids. Mm -hmm. These brothers. Oh, you understand? But the leadership is what's happening. The leadership. Don't never forget that. The leadership. Because, we, you know, we're known not, African Americans is known not to follow their leadership. Mm -hmm. Some of us are stick long leadership. You understand? This is the youngest one. He's the baby. He leader. don't like me to say baby, but he the youngest he's one. The youngest. Jesus said, out of the mouths of babe, out of the mouths of this baby came this. From, from Minister James all the way up here, all the way to this point right here. Some of us are just workers. I'm just a worker. I can't even talk good. You understand? Mm -hmm. But to work, well, I'm a worker, a supporter. And we, everybody here, we are supporters. And that's what we have to do to make sure we go to the next step. The next step is taking the building down next door. Mm -hmm. The next step, and after that, we have, to, we have to take this community back like we had it. Master Elijah Muhammad that told us, he told us this. He said, he said, all, we going to lose all this. But we, but we can show the people now what we can do. We showed them what we could do. We did impossible things during that time. And we're doing it again, and they said it through this leadership. You understand? They say he can't talk. Oh, he can't? How the hell we get to this level we can't talk? He had to tell us something. All he did was point. He pointed. He said, do it. Regardless, and regardless how he said it, it don't make no difference. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. And may Allah bless all of us, and let's continue to follow this leadership. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, sir. Brother, could I interject something what sure. he's talking about? Sure. This man come up with an Amin Abdullah next door. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a strip mall, mm -hmm. three stories. And just for your audience information, you can mail the money to Masjid Ali K. Muslim, 257. We need a half a million dollars cash. Mm -hmm. We're going to tear that down and build three stories. Mm -hmm. And if you want to know what's going to be on it, first floor is going to be a strip mall. We're going to have a bakery and some more stuff. Allah Whatever. Akbar. Allah Akbar. That's, that's, before, 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 I, before we finish, let me say this. Before you finish, we finish. Unity. Unity is the key to success. That's all he talk about, us coming together. Being together, being together, regardless, stay together. You may not understand it, but let's stay together. Unity is the key. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as that's, that's very informative. And the brother Imam 
we don't care what the people say because we love you. Yes, and sir. like, and like Bill Osborne right. said, your, your, your proof, the, the proof is in yes, the works sir. in yes, the direction sir. that you've been doing. May Allah yes, Ta'ala continue. Bless you. Yes, and we heard a lot of talk about the brother Amin Muhammad, a beautiful right. brother who's sitting on, 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 the, on the left side of uh, Imam Akbar. Uh, I have the pleasure of knowing him. I've called on him several times, and he came every time. And, and, and Allah has put in his hands a skill and a gift. And we wanted to, uh, we know that it took a lot of effort. We know it took a lot of time. And may Allah Ta'ala reward him and Brother Abdullah for their efforts in constructing this masjid. But I would just like to ask Brother Amin, same question I asked Brother, two questions really. From a spiritual standpoint for Brother Amin, what, what does it feel like inside in terms of your relationship with Allah? Okay. For you actually having the, the Allah giving you the permission to be able to establish a house for Allah on this earth from that aspect. And two, what was it like in terms of getting the, the, the right people involved and then and constructing this? Uh assalamu alaikum. Uh, I think it was nineteen eighty seven. Uh huh. Uh Imam Muhammad that came in to do a address down at Sibley Hall. And we was asked by the mayor, Sharp James at the time, what part would uh, you like to have your community take part in? He said, help with the redevelopment and the building of Newark again. Uh -huh. That's what Imam Mike Muslim told. So Sharp uh, had told the Imam that he would like for us to take part in help building, rebuilding the West Ward. Uh -huh. So he designated certain areas for us and whatnot in a uh, construction came, uh, company came up. It was a non-profit construction company that came, Umar Developer. Mm -hmm. The reason why I go back to Umar Developer is because I had just started contracting at the time. Mm -hmm. And I was real small, I was doing little small jobs, right? Mm -hmm. So Imam Ali Muslim asked me did I want to be the lead, the lead on the development team, right? I told him I had to think about it, but then when I thought about it, I wasn't qualified to get the necessary mm -hmm. things that you needed to do new construction. Uh -huh. So I backed down and that's when Wally Muhammad took helm on, on it. But that didn't work because we didn't have everything we needed uh -huh. to move a new development. We had to bring in other people. Uh -huh. But I had uh, committed myself to get in position, no matter how long it took, to get in position where we didn't have to have anyone depend on anybody else. We can do it from beginning to end. So, I don't know. so I don't know. when Imam Ali Muslim passed, uh, me and Imam Akbar, he, he came to me and he asked me, he said, uh, what you think we can do? do? Should we wait and try to raise the money to build or should we move now? I said, brother Imam, a lot of situations in our community have been waiting for 10 years, 15, 20, 30, 40 years, right? And it seems like every time you wait, you wind up doing nothing. I said, let's start. He came up with the idea to clear up the debt first, right, that we had. Uh -huh. We cleared up the debt, then we started with the construction. We literally started with every phase that we uh, started. When we started uh, with the drawings, he raised the money for the drawings. Uh -huh. When we got the final drawings, we went to the planning board, the money we need, he raised that through the community. Mm -hmm. Then when we had to go and put in for the permits, I had to bring in all the contractors, I had to make agreements with them. We was blessed because most of the contractors I had been working with for about 15 years, mm -hmm. they filled out our permits without asking us for a dime. Mm. Sure all from Allah. And we had yeah. contracts with them yeah. that they was due a down payment upon permits, mm -hmm. but they waived them. Mm -hmm. So we went on putting the permits. Came time to pay for the permits, raised the money again. And that's how we did this project from, from that point on. And like the Imam said, we had some real outstanding believers when we got into a situation where we was kind of at a uh, stalemate. Oh. They stepped up. Yeah. Oh. You know, I would like to name them, but you know, that's not necessary. They, oh. they get oh. the reward from Allah. 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 You know, but they stepped up Man. every Allah. phase of the work. Right. Now, we're not completed yet, but we, we, we really there because mm. we done made agreement with the elevator guy. Is, is going in as we talk, Amen. right? And the basement will be finished next week, so we're we, we gonna be all right. 
But like why I do say, I just want to make one correction uh, that why I do said, because he misquoted himself because he said a million dollars. You said a half just a little while ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Allah, Allah gonna give it to us. Yeah, we, Allah, we can use a million dollars yeah. for <laughs> next door. Allah gonna give it to us. <laughs> okay. Well, you we know, can excuse. Through good, yeah. through, uh, through good leadership, right? <laughs> right? And I have to go back to leadership. I had to go back to Elijah Muhammad. I was a young boy when Elijah Muhammad was uh, uh, around. I came really in under Imam Muhammad. I didn't come in under Elijah Muhammad. I used to come up to the temple. Well, guys like Osman and them used to make me come up. <laughs> they come and take you off the block and then bring you up here. You know, I, I, I was familiar with Mr. James, but I was too young. I was in my teens, you know what I'm saying? But I came in under Imam Muhammad. And then I really uh, uh, learned the religion and learned how to practice it. See, because knowing the religion and practicing is two different things. I learned to practice it under the leadership of Imam Ali, Ali K. Muslim. Allah, 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 Allah. He, I was real close to him. Oh, oh, oh. And then me and Imam Akbar was with Imam Ali Muslim for 30 years, about 25 years. About 25 years. You know what I'm saying? So then when he became the leader, you know, it, it, it was nowhere for me to go but stay here and do what we were supposed to do. Right. You, know, you know, I grew up in a neighborhood where you couldn't even quit in a baseball game. You don't broke your finger or whatever. Or you still got to play. So ain't no quit. And Islam is no quit. We just got to continue on. So that's basically how we got to this point. You know? Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah. That's good. You know, I, I mean, it was last night I, I was sitting thinking about this day and I couldn't come up with a topic. But see how Allah blessed me to come up with a topic of leadership. Because it seemed like, man, it, this is just what the whole thing is about. It's about, it's about a leadership. And may Allah Ta'ala, man, uh, give you, ma'am, uh, Ali Muslim uh, Jannah, and may Allah Ta'ala make his great spaces, because he was definitely a, a, a strong leadership, and he gave that direction, you know, so. But Imam Akbar, you, you want to add a little bit to that in terms of um, the struggles that were made here in, in terms of, the, of, of constructing this business, uh, constructing this building, inshallah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum. I just would like to say, too, uh, that um, all the comments that all of the brothers made and um, contractor and to uh, the believers and every, everybody that um, was very instrumental in bringing this about. And um, just like uh, what Wally has said, we were very, very uh, excited about doing um, the new masjid and to say that this is what um, all our previous leaders and all of the prophets and all of our ancestors mm. and our parents, this is what they were, were, were looking for. And to say that um, going, going into the religion, uh, mm -hmm. when Osman, he made some comments, most of our people, we really don't understand that the circular knowledge, we want to be prepped for the circular system and God says that um, the prophets they were umi e umi e means unleaded mm -hmm. they were unlearned mm -hmm. they were not learned in scripture mm -hmm. and that's and I like what I mean said we he said that we have to be people that study the Quran and that's what um, um, Rahman was interviewing us with on how it was developed stage by stage, level by level, and bringing this about. And all of us is really instrumental in doing this, and all of us is a great help to our situation. And it don't, it don't take a learned man, like I mean, said, all we gotta do is just come in and start working together with each other, and we're a team. Mm -hmm. and being a team, that's when like I mean, said we we can't. And the Imam W D Muhammad, may, may God be pleased with him, he said mm -hmm. we can't stop now. So, yeah, when Rahman said he wanted to interview us, oh, that really like he was talking about inspiration. That that really inspired me too. <laughs> and then and, and then just coming into leadership, coming behind Imam Ali Muslim, and well, he 
Imam Ali Muslim was a very, very healthy guy, you know, and he was very, very strong. Mm -hmm. And his and his death was very, very shocking to us. Mm -hmm. And when he passed, then we just they just they just told me we, we all gotta get together and nominate somebody and nominated me and we just went on and took it to the level where it's supposed to be going at, and everybody was uh, satisfied with what we're doing. I mean, just like we said, you know, you're gonna have a little few problems. You're gonna have a little in-house, you know, a little in-house argument. Not why, dude? He stay on me, you know. I, and I, you know, I'm asking the audience, you know, y'all talk to him and mm -hmm. see if y'all can help, help him get off of, get off of my back. How much time do we have left? Okay, brother Wally. Would you like yes, to share I would like to say yeah. something. Mm -hmm. I would like to say that every man that is sitting in here now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is the real supporters right here. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, when you, I hope that you will pan and get them into this situation. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will. Because yeah. we got a brother sitting right there, mm -hmm. Abdul Rashid Abdul. Mm -hmm. Okay. That brother. We had to fight for him uh -huh. to stay in his position. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, this is a this is a family here. So you know, like this is a, a, a like the Imam said. We we argue and fight, fight and we fuss and uh -huh. we really go at each other. Uh -huh. But this is a fist. Like you come against this one here. Right. Yeah. It's all over for you. Allah Akbar. It's That's all right. over. All praise due to Allah, That's right. I mean, and we thank Allah for Allah. Imam W. Dean Muhammad. Allah. We can't say that enough. Right. Allah. That's the right. one. Okay, we, we're going to uh, wrap this up and show you how fast time goes. We only have about one minute left, and I think that this particular, these two interviews, this is part two of the, of, of the, of the first part of the interview, has been a benefit for myself and for everyone here. And I think that the, uh, we, we ask Allah to continue the efforts with every individual that are making these efforts to build the house of Allah here on this earth. And we thank Allah and we hope and we pray that uh, MC, we ask you to make uh, prayers and du'as for MCTV because part of my goal is, is try to dispel all the negativity that's being done by the anti-media that exists in America today. We want to show the people that there is a media, that, we, that Muslims are part of mainstream society. We're doctors, we're judges, we're lawyers, we're prosecutors. We're everything that Allah Ta'ala decreed for us to be. But the most important thing that we're striving to be is to be the best example for mankind. Yes, that's right. So we pray Allah Ta'ala and we pray for everyone in this masjid and we pray to Allah Ta'ala for this masjid to grow. We want to thank you for watching. May you continue watching. watching. And we thank everybody for showing up today. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Everybody remain seated for one second. Bill, can you span, span the audience? If everybody don't mind, can you span the audience? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. It's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to come before you and to be of assistance and to uh, have 
um, the believers and myself, uh, the Imam uh, Akbar Muhammad and the believers here at Masjid Imam Ali Muslim to uh, be uh, in front of our brand new masjid and to have this historical event um, taking place on this great day, October the 13th, and to say that this is going down in history and we all love our situation and we want to be able to pass it on to our children and our grandchildren and make this here uh, last for, from now on and we go into the, into the books of uh, being uh, very instrumental and being a role model towards this situation. And I want to thank everybody for coming in. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar.